More news has been making waves about Jade Cargill, so we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's going on with CM Punk, Seth Rollins, and much more. Starting things off with the latest reports on Jade Cargill's status. Jade Cargill's signing with WWE received so much coverage and attention from the company themselves. They proceeded to have Jade Cargill make cameo appearances on all three brands, and even a premium live event appearance at Fastlane. But then, Jade mysteriously vanished from WWE television. She once again reappeared during the Women's Royal Rumble match, where she had her first piece of action inside of a WWE ring with an impressive showing. A lot of fans initially thought that moment represented Jade Cargill's full main roster call-up. She even appeared on SmackDown that same week to talk about signing contracts. But Jade Cargill has once again gone missing from WWE television. There was some big rumors and allegedly some leaked graphics from WWE themselves that featured Jade Cargill in the Elimination Chamber women's match. Jade Cargill was apparently supposed to win the last chance battle royal for the last remaining spot in the Elimination Chamber match and go on to Australia to actually take part in that match. But new reports from PW Insider claim that all plans for Jade Cargill taking part in the Women's Elimination Chamber match have been pulled and scrapped from taking place. The reason she was pulled from the match remains unknown, but maybe they just ultimately figured that if Jade wasn't going to win the whole thing, then it'll be pretty pointless to put her in the match because she'll have to be eliminated, get pinned, and lose. So maybe they don't want her first two WWE appearances in matches to be getting eliminated from the Royal Rumble and getting pinned to be eliminated from the Chamber match. So if that's the reason why something along those lines, then it's completely understandable. Definitely don't want to get her pinned during her first actual match in WWE outside of the Royal Rumble. But until some clarification is made through a backstage segment of Jade Cargill signing with a brand, we're basically right back to where we started off with her status before Royal Rumble. It's a complete mystery. No one knows when her next appearance will be or what brand she belongs to right now. And now with Elimination Chamber plans being cancelled, it looks like things with Jade Cargill are really back to being heavily unknown. We'll have to patiently wait and see and find out what WWE's next move will be with Jade Cargill. WWE has also just announced a major segment for the Elimination Chamber event that looks like it's having lots of storyline implications for the WrestleMania 40 main event. There'll be a special Elimination Chamber edition of the Grayson Waller effect taking place with special guests Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. The segment will be a special one for Grayson Waller himself because he gets a special talk show segment in his home country of Australia. So you definitely know he's very appreciative of that opportunity. But the segment is also special because those two guests we just mentioned, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. As The Rock and Roman Reigns head into the road to WrestleMania as a duo, it looks like WWE has now officially paired up Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins to be the perfect counter duo towards them. Seth and Cody's partnership was first teased and hinted at at the WrestleMania press conference where madness broke out with a big heel turn from The Rock. Technically speaking, this entire situation had nothing to do with Seth Rollins, but he decided to step up for Cody Rhodes because he wasn't a fan at all about how The Rock and Roman Reigns were acting like they could just do whatever they want. That didn't sit well with Seth and naturally made Seth side with Cody Rhodes. And like we spoke about following the February 12th edition of Raw, that segment between Cody and Seth consisted of Seth basically telling Cody that he wouldn't be letting Cody head into the fight against Roman Reigns and The Rock alone, and he'll be in Cody's corner. So it looks like the Grayson Waller effect apparently will pick up from where the February 12th edition of Raw left off at, and will continue to build up on this newly formed alliance between Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. And considering this talk show segment will take place after the February 16th and 23rd editions of SmackDown, it's safe to assume that Cody and Seth will have quite a lot to respond to from Roman, Rock, and the Bloodline. The February 23rd edition of SmackDown will also be pre-taped on the 16th, so maybe there's a possibility Roman and The Rock will film some segments 
for that 23rd edition of SmackDown as well. So potentially two weeks of shots and jabs that Cody and Seth will respond to at Elimination Chamber. That Grayson Waller effect show with Seth and Cody already appears to be major and have a lot of story implications. And that hype around that segment will only grow here as we get closer to Elimination Chamber itself. Prior to his injury, it appeared that CM Punk was on pace to achieve one of his lifetime goals of main eventing WrestleMania. Hopefully Punk will get that opportunity once again to make that finally happen in 2025. But it seems like the door to another one of CM Punk's long lifetime goals is opening up a bit as well, and that's a potential match with Stone Cold Steve Austin. WWE first teased an encounter between Punk and Austin way back in 2011 that got fans hyped up. Also can't forget that CM Punk even delivered one of his most iconic promos while wearing one of Stone Cold Steve Austin's shirts, so there's always been some ties there, and that's always been one of the biggest dream matches for Punk. Well, like we saw in 2022, Stone Cold Steve Austin actually competed in a full match against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, and ever since we saw that match go down a few years back, the big fan question was if Stone Cold had enough in the tank for at least one more match. Well, while speaking with ESPN recently, Steve Austin was asked about the idea of not only having another match, but if the match was with CM Punk. He had this to say about the idea, quote, It would be a good one. I like Punk, and I think Punk likes me. So, as long as he can take a Stone Cold stutter, I'd consider him a great friend, a great guy, and a great wrestler who's had a great career. We'll see, end quote. So the fact that Austin even left the door open a tiny bit has fans extremely excited about the potential future of seeing that match take place. As far as things go with CM Punk, he's still recovering from that tricep surgery. He's been very active on social media, showing himself hard at work on his recovery and making it as fast as possible. There's still no time exactly when Punk will be back but the estimated rumor going around is a couple of months. And when Punk comes back, it appears to be safe to assume that he'll be picking up a feud against Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was the one who attacked Punk and fully rode him off following the Royal Rumble injury. And Drew even continues to mock Punk in current day by wearing the gravesite shirt of Punk's WrestleMania hopes and dreams. And especially if Drew McIntyre ends up being the one to literally take Punk's spot again at WrestleMania, that really gives Punk even more motive to go after Drew for attacking him, mocking him, and taking his WrestleMania spot. So that's a feud we could expect to see maybe as soon as Punk returns. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.